Alright, this is part two for gonorrhea, and here we go. If you have gonorrhea, you are encouraged to go and get medication as soon as possible. The bacteria that causes gonorrhea have been resistant to many of the antibiotics that were very effective in the past. Small amounts of penicillin and later tetracillin was a standard treatment in the 1940s. As time went on, the use of penicillin and tetracillin used to treat uncomplicated gonorrhea become more and more resistant as new strands mutate. The Centers of Disease Control currently recommend the following. A single dose of ciprofloxacin and ofloxacin as a broad spectrum. Fluoroquinolones and cephalosporins. Some common side effects of these medicines include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, belly pain or cramps, vaginal itching or discharge. There's no effective vaccine to help with gonorrhea, but here's to prevent it. No form of sex is the best prevention. Using latex condoms from start to finish if you have oral, vaginal, or anal sex. Having sex with only one unaffected partner who only has sex with you. Have regular checkups if you are sexually active. If you have an STD, don't have sex until all partners have been treated. Careful consideration and open communication between partners may protect all partners involved from infection. Untreated gonorrhea can cause serious and permanent health issues in both men and female. In a female, if you're untreated, it can cause pelvic inflammatory disease. By having PDI, you'll have the following. Pregnancy outside the womb, not being able to get pregnant, long-term pelvic abnormal pain, formation of scar tissue that blocks fallopian tubes. In men, gonorrhea can cause a painful in the tubes that are attached to the testicles. In rare cases, this may cause the male not to be able to give sperm to be a father. Rarely, untreated gonorrhea can also spread to your blood or joints. This condition can be life-threatening. Having gonorrhea may also cause a greater chance of getting HIV. By using the treatments for gonorrhea, you will, in most cases, completely be cured from the disease. A common misconception about gonorrhea is that brushing one's teeth following an oral sex will prevent the bacteria from progressing in the body. Ironically, doing this will actually increase the risk of infection because brushing can tear the lining of the gums or mouth. Some interesting facts on gonorrhea is that gonorrhea was nicknamed the clap. Another one was women are more prone than men to contract the disease at a 5 to 2 ratio at 60 to 80 percent. Men who perform sex with infected women suffering from gonorrhea have the risk of being infected with the disease just 20 percent. Gonorrhea is not spread airborne. You can get gonorrhea by having anal, vaginal, or oral sex with someone who already has it. If you have gonorrhea and touch your eyes, you can get the eye infection. But you, cannot get it, but you cannot get it by shaking someone's hand. A pregnant woman with gonorrhea can give the eye infection to her baby during childbirth, and then the child will have it. It can spread easy if you come in contact with bacteria, so you should stay clear. Created using Powtoon.